She really said that, did she? Well, uh, no, uh, I think that I can safely say that my mother is behind me 100%. Uh, or maybe in the 90s, anyway. Uh, you know, hey, look, on a bad day, I would say my approval rating from my immediate family is way over uh, 50%. Uh, oh, boy, I'm sorry. You know, just time for one more tiny, tiny question. Okay. Miss Dodd, what makes you think that, that you, of all people, can raise a child in this city at, at this time? With, with crime soaring, the economy crumbling, hatred, despair, and disease lurking around every corner, and, and the entire fabric of our society tearing apart. I mean, how can you bring a child into that? Well, I don't really know how to answer that. Um, I guess you have to have a little faith, that's all. <laughs> out to lunch. No. Ah. Well, have a good lunch. I, Bryce, you've been avoiding me all day. Oh, no. Oh. Not at all. Could we talk for a minute? Well, sure. <sighs> oh, I, uh, I see you found a copy. Yes, I sure did. I know what you're going to say, and that's why I wanted to talk to you. Look, I had no idea that this was going to be published so fast and without my knowledge. Oh, right. Well, isn't it exciting? I... I mean, I wanted to keep it under wraps until it happened, but I must say it turned out quite well. Uh, Bryce, 
I don't mean to get petty, but uh, I don't see my name on the book. Well, you were certainly instrumental since... I wrote it. Molly. Molly. Welcome to the world of publishing. You're a part of the team. Well, then why do I see your name? T-E-A-M. Four individual letters, Molly, which together form one word. A solid, strong word. It's teamwork all the way here, Molly. One cohesive unit. We all pull together. But I happen to be coach of this particular squad. The company sent me to a motivational retreat. I learned how to make athletic analogies. They come in very handy. I know, I know. It looks as if I'm trying to take all the credit for your work, but it's really not like that at all. Please. Go ahead and tell me what it's like. Well, you're on staff, Molly. This is how it is. You might be asked to work on several projects at once. Now, you're not paid per project. You're given a weekly salary for whatever assignment is given you. Yes, but I conceived the idea, and Sarah told me it was my project. I just don't think it's fair, Bryce. Hey, I hear you. Don't think you're getting sucker punched because I'm right there in your corner. I consider us friends. Well, so did I. Oh, I just wish I'd known it from the start. Well, the good news is, is everyone is very excited about your work on the book. And they think it'll be something of a success. Now, I think you scored a touchdown, or at least a long drive, your first swing. Could we, uh, have a timeout on all the sports talk, please? Well, I'm glad to see we're off and running again. Uh, one last thing. Sure. This other guy who wrote my book, William Gordon, who is that? Oh, I think he's our CEO's husband. I've never met him. Of course. Evening. Hello, David. David. Mighty handsome couple. Why, thank you. What are you doing there? Oh, just making a checklist for Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy? You remember my son. Of course we do. Yeah, I've been working out this training manual for him. He's going to be holding down the fort part-time. Co-op board voted for 24-hour service. Mm, wonderful. Like father, like son. I'm so glad you're keeping him in the family. Jimmy is charming and so helpful, too. He wants the late shift so he can still audition for shows. Ah, the actor. Maybe you might be needing extra help in the thespian department. Sorry to say we finished casting for my show, <laughs> which will surely be a disaster. However, I'll keep him in mind for my next block. Uh, anticipate notices will always shake the confidence. Now, Jimmy's a real morale booster. Straight from the school of military dramatics, Vietnam tour, 68. Got an extra 8 by 10 in the basement. I'll have her waiting for you on your way out. Oh, yes, indeed. Elevator will be here in a jiffy. Thank you. Where's the present? Present? Didn't you bring the engagement present? What engagement present? Who's engaged? Molly! I had the gift wrapped and waiting. Why else would we be here? Aren't we here for dinner? No. Molly has her Lamaze class tonight. I told you. You may be right. Oh, Arthur, you're such a boob sometimes. I beg your pardon? You heard perfectly well what I said. I did not. Did so. Did not. If you would like me to raise my voice like this, Arthur, I would be more than happy to do so. Please, there's no need to get excited. I'm not a boob. You did hear me. Darling, there's no need to have a conniption fit. We can just hop upstairs and give our warmest congratulations. I told her we were bringing her a gift, and then we were going to go. I wanted her to have the gift today. You bungled everything. Florence, you're behaving like a... Like what? Nothing. Like what? Say it, Arthur. Be a man. A spoiled, hot-blooded, insolent hussy. There. I said it. Arthur, don't you think we...
we'd better be going. Yes, immediately. Sorry, kid. I gave him my best shot. Hi, baby. Oh, Miss Dodd. Have you seen my mother? Uh, she and her beau just left. What, they were here? Well, well, why didn't they come up? Question of priorities, I guess. Oh. Oh, well, I'm on my way to my Lamaze class. Ah, uh, Lamaze. I used to stir him up into quite a frenzy. We had terrible rows when I told him that his technique was just a simple case of circus hypnosis. Uh, who's this, Davy? Fernand. Fernand who? Fernand Lamaze. Ferdy, as I used to call him. No, wait, don't try and tell me you actually knew the Dr. Lamaze. In my youth when you could still get a decent brioche. Now, Spock, on the other hand. Ah, Benjamin, or the one with the ears? Now, Miss Dodd, no prevarications here. Both are a fountainhead of information. Well, then you'll be able to give me a lot of breathing, reading, and rearing pointers. Plan on it. And I'd be more than honored if I can be a Lamas coach. Ah, well, the position's already filled. He's on his way down. Oh. Well, this is all very strange. You know, I wonder why Arthur and Mom didn't come up. Well, they seem to be in a hurry. She was supposed to bring me an engagement present. I think it might have been forgotten. Huh. Are they coming back? Uh, I'm inclined to believe it would be out of the question. Davy, what aren't you telling me? Well, let's see. They had a bit of a spat, which seemed to put them in a, what you would call, very frisky mood. Uh, then things got a little libidinous, and... Uh... I see. Thank you very much, Davy. I think I've heard enough. So, you ready for class? <laughs> Wow, cheesecake. Sugar and that stuff will send you right to the moon. That's uh, fine. Mm. Louise and I have been off sugar, caffeine, and alcohol for quite a while now. Mm. It's been a rough road. I was addicted to chocolate. Mm. So is this your first? Well, we don't really have any plans for kids in the near future. It's my first. I think I'm a little confused. Well, uh, let me explain. My uh, fiancé, uh, Nate, well, Nate and I've discussed this. He works very long hours. He's a detective. Yeah, and he's working on a very important case right now. So I thought that the wisest choice for a Lamaze partner at the class stage would be Ron and Ramona. Hey, Ramona, that's my wife. I mean, of course, Nate will be there on the day, but I have a couple of pinch hitters just in case. I'm uh, secretly hoping Nate's on duty so I can be the coach. <sighs> when do you do? Um, oh, in about six and a half weeks. Same here. <laughs> Uh -huh. So there's not a mix-up in the nursery, huh? I think they'll be able to tell them apart. No, oh, no, no, no. Nate's a black guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that explains it. So you're gonna have a cocoa baby? Uh, uh, maybe a tropical tan shade. It was good. It's a, let's hear it for beige. A nice creamy cappuccino. Whatever. As long as it's healthy. Hey, uh, isn't that stuff supposed to be loaded with caffeine? Decaf. You know, it takes the body actually one year to rid the system of toxins. We've really been preparing for this baby. So I guess an epidural is out. If I can help it. Well, I hope I won't have to have it. What, are you kidding? If Molly starts screaming drugs, give me drugs, I hope they shoot her up. I don't want her to be in excruciating pain. I'm not going to let Louise let herself down. We've agreed to natural childbirth. I mean, it's totally up to her. I mean, Molly calls the shots. I'm a coach. I'm not Hitler. Well, we've done some extensive research into natural childbirth. I'm uh, sure if you look into it, you'll find it's the way to go. I can recommend some good reading material. Hey, I've done some reading on my own, okay? I forgot that book, Following the Fetus. Oh. I'll get it to you later, huh? Great. Ron has really been wonderful through all this. Ah. Well, no, he has. Lace is so committed, he really gets into it. He may seem a bit uptight sometimes, but I'll tell you. He's the kindest man I've ever met. Hmm. You know, some people give birth in jacuzzis. Don't mean it's right for everyone. I never agreed with that method. The point I'm trying to make is that it's the woman who calls the shots in the end. 
No, it's a team effort all the way. But things change. People change their minds. What happens if you guys have to have a C-section? You're gonna stuff a rag in their mouth and say, take the pain? Yeah, That's an entirely and different situation. Yeah, but it's something discussed. that could come up. You're talking about inhuman I'm practice. I'm talking about it's her ball game. It's not your ball game, all right? I disagree. Uh, I'm sorry, you disagree. Excuse me. What? Another round? Want to come in for a sec? Uh, I'll give you a file of the fetus. Oh, uh, well, great. I'll give it back to you before the next class. Oh, no, take your time. I think you really get into it. Hmm. Whoops. All right. Oh, no, don't bend down. Let me get him. No, you know, I may be fat, but I still have my basic motor skills. <laughs> Some locksmith, huh? Yes. Oh, hi, guys. How was class? Uh, oh. It's great. Hmm. I'll come in and show up. I was running a little late, and I figured by the time I'd get there, it'd be over. I hope you don't mind, Molly. Oh, no, I, not at all. You should have been there, Mona. It's not that big a thing. You can catch me up, right? That ain't the point. Hey, Ma. Fred, I, uh, what are you doing here? Hi, I'm Fred Dodd. Ryan. Just gonna visit Molly, and I caught Ramon in the hallway here. I invited him in for a beer, because I knew you guys would be back soon, and so that's why I asked him in, you know? So, Ron, you want a beer? Yeah, sure. How about you, Molly? Soda or something? Um, no, thanks. I'm fine. I know you're fine, but would you like something to drink? Isn't that funny? I heard that somewhere. Huh. Yeah, where? In a bar? Come on, Ron. Chill out, okay? I'll get that book for you. Maybe we ought to get out of here. Don't you dare. Come on, Molly. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Here you go. I think you'll get a kick out of it. Oh, thanks. Hey, Fred, you want another beer? Oh, uh, sure. Why not? So what is this crap we're listening to, huh? Let's put on some rock and roll. Fine. This is Fred's record. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you brought your record with you. <laughs> I didn't. That's, uh, that's me playing. Oh, yeah? No hard feelings. Sounds good. It's just that we never really listen to jazz, you know? When did you buy this? I've had it. I absolutely love your music. God, I mean, you are so talented. Ron, you may not realize this, but he is famous. Well, I'm not, I'm not really famous. All my friends have seen your video. What, you have a video? Yeah, it's no big deal. They play it on VH1. I haven't seen it on MTV yet. Yeah, and I don't think you're going to. Go a few more pages, it's this great photo. Yeah, there it is, look at this. The embryo is the size of your thumbnail. But that is incredible. How are they able to take these pictures? I don't know. So Fred, when are you gonna have another album out? Oh, probably in another lifetime. The new one's not selling as well as they thought. Oh, they're out of their minds. It's a great album. Well, I guess pop and rap is what's happening now. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'll throw in the towel. Oh, no, you can't do that. Hold on. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking about it. Would you do a really stupid favor for me? Would you sign my record cover? Oh, sure. Ramona. Hey, this is going to be worth something someday. And don't hold your breath. What do you want me to say? Anything you want. Okay. So are you really thinking of quitting? <sighs> Maybe. Let me see that book. I'll get us some more beers. There's some uh, stuff in there about how music and sounds affect the fetus. Yeah? Oh, I've been listening to very soothing music. It's great. That bet it'll have a big impact. Well, let's mm. hope not the same impact my music has on you. Anyone for another? Uh, no, I really should be going. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, same here. Well, uh, thanks for everything. Uh, no problem. Bye, Molly. Bye, Fred. Bye. Thanks for the beer. Ooh. You certainly seem to be the man of the hour. Mm -hmm. You're pretty popular yourself. <gasps> you didn't tell me that, uh, he was going to be your Lamaze well, partner. Oh, well, Nate will be my actual partner in the delivery room. That's just that, uh... I mean, if... If you're gonna have a standing... 
You might have thought about that. Yeah, well, um, I did think about you. I just felt it would be a little too complicated. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I brought this by. It's a lullaby I wrote for the two of you. I like to think of it as my general introduction. Well, that's nice, Fred. Thanks. I didn't give it a title because uh, I don't know the baby's name yet. No, well, I can fill that in later. Fred's a nice name. Frederica, also very nice. Frederica, mm. Frederica, Frederica's lullaby doesn't quite make it. I just hope this doesn't create some kind of subliminal attraction to crazed jazz musicians. <laughs> Take a chance. 